Captain Sullenberger says he plans to fly again, but he's not sure when. For now, he and his family are finding comfort going through the mountain of mail he's received from all over the world. Mr. Sullenberger, great job. I'd like to buy you a beer. I'll be at a cheap domestic one, five dollars enclosed. God bless. <laughs> Dear Captain Sullenberger, in a world that seems to be full of bad news, it was such a wonderful day on January 15th. Think about not only the 155 passengers, but all the families who belong to these people. Dearest Captain Sullenberger, Big Apple Hero, yesterday I received a voicemail from my 84-year-old father who lives on the 30th floor of a building with river views here in Manhattan. Had you not been so skilled, my father or others like him in their sky-high buildings could have perished along with your passengers had not you landed in the river as you had. As a Holocaust survivor, my father taught me that to save a life is to save a world. As you never know what the person you've saved nor his or her prodigy will go on to contribute to the peace and healing of the world. Bless you, dear Captain Sullenberger. New York loves you. That is my favorite one. Yeah, mine too. You've been called a hero by a lot of people. How do you feel about that? I don't feel comfortable embracing it, but I don't want to deny it. I don't want to diminish their thankful feeling toward me by telling them that they're wrong. I'm beginning to understand why they might feel that way. And why is that? Something about this episode has captured people's imagination. I think they want good news. I think they want to feel hopeful again. And if I can help in that way, I will.